Hi, sisters. Oh my god, I hate myself for saying that. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing the thing I've been waiting for for the absolute longest time because um, I ordered it exactly like maybe like five minutes after it came out and um, I've been waiting because I've been so excited for this palette to come out like super because like, you know, I love to do color. If you follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. I'm going to shut up and show you what I'm actually doing. So today, we're going to be doing the James Charles palette, which is hands down so awesome and I'm like so proud of you because like you know you're a gay boy and in the, the gay boy wearing makeup and I'm a gay boy wearing makeup and like honestly just super like inspiring to see like someone my age like you're literally one year older than me I'm saying it like he's watching this video <laughs> literally one year older than me and he's already a lot richer than I could ever dream so anyway but here is the palette, if you haven't already seen it, which if you haven't already seen it, you haven't been on the internet, and if you already have seen it, then... Oh, I thought someone was... I'm home alone, which, you know what that means. Me laying down, being asleep by myself, playing music really loud, because no one's here to tell me not to. Anyway, here is the palette itself in her beauty. Um, I don't know if you can see on camera, but I did swatch some of these, and... Sisha snapped. Like, Sisha really went off. And also, it doesn't come with tape. I'm ghetto and cheap, and I taped it on there so then I could, like, know what the palette's names are called. The shades. And dig into this, I don't know. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do, but I have so many ideas for this, what to do for this. Because I wanted to do an orange-blue look, but then I also wanted to do, like, a galaxy look. But I already done one of those. But I also wanted to do, um... In my look, but then I already did one of those. So I'm gonna get in this, um, whole palette, which I'm so excited to try. Like, you don't understand. Like, this is the most expensive thing I've ever bought, besides my foundation, which doesn't even match me, but still. Um, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows, then I'm gonna, um... Also, oh, 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 controversy has been going on with this palette, of course, because it's James Charles, and everyone wants to talk about sister, talk shit, sister shit about sister James. <laughs> Concealer on one eye, and I know I'm one of... Oh my god, it literally pissed me off. When people use concealer and they're like, oh, it's not really working. Bitch, he literally said to use um, a primer, an eyelid primer. And I I didn't buy the pri this primer, the MAC Pink Pot for this. And I know it's not my shade. This was like for literally the only one they had. I went and bought this because I get my makeup breaks down around my nose right here. And this is like good to like prevent that sort of. And I also get laugh lines. So that's another reason why I bought this. And also because... He said that it works really well, so I bought it. Bought it. So I'm gonna use this all one night and then this on the side, and we're gonna see which if it really matters. Honestly, if he says use this, it'll work better. Then I'm gonna use it. And if he says, and also I'm gonna use this because I paid twenty two dollars for it. And then like on every day, I'll just use this. But um, so yeah, we're gonna see how these work. I'm gonna shut up. Another important note: <laughs> a lot of my brushes are dirty because I wasn't expect expecting this to come today really um so a lot of them are dirty and i didn't feel like cleaning them because i wanted to get this video done and i also wanted to get into this palette so bad so if the pigment if the colors are weird then that's why but um they're not gonna be like super weird if there's like some left over like some of them are like color but they don't give out color like they're just i just they're dirty so my brows are done this is actually a really good eyebrow day for me which is always the case whenever i do my makeup at night my makeup i mean my eyebrows always come out the best when i am not going anywhere after actually they're a little bit thick on the top i really need to pluck these bitches so now that we have the brows out of the way i'm so excited we're going to um I'm gonna take this brush and then I'm gonna apply the <laughs> pink pot to my lid. I never really done this before, so um, yeah. <laughs> it was not for this palette because um, my nose breaks up makeup for whatever reason. 
throughout the day, which is so freaking annoying. Like, if you guys have any tips, because I tried all the beauty guru hacks, and even the Mac Paint one, maybe I'm just doing it wrong, but that one doesn't really work either. Like, it depends, like, on certain days. Like, it works sometimes, it doesn't work some another time. I think I put too much concealer. Anyway, so we're finally gonna dig into this palette, which is something so awesome. Anyway, so I seen the look on Instagram, and I was like, I need to do that. I need to do that, but I tried to do it. I couldn't do it with this palette, the other palette, not this palette. This palette, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to. But I couldn't do it with the other palette, because the orange wasn't, orange wasn't pick my chicken now, sister. Here goes, it was from Lily Lashes, Lily Lashes, and here's the look. So, um, go follow them. If you don't know what they are or who they are. Playground. Okay, so I'm gonna go into playground. Oh my god, I'm so I'm gonna start off with a little bit <laughs> and um see where we go from there. So I'm gonna start off with this eye. Okay, this is the um uh whatchamacallit concealer side. Okay, first thoughts. I tapped it off, but it's the color's still coming off really really nice which is really nice <laughs> this off and lay this color what color is this i'm gonna lay down playground as a base for the other blue and i just realized i was doing something he said not to do i don't know if this is a pressed pigment but he said to stamp it so i'm gonna start stamping it instead of brushing it back literally when i bought this palette i was like i need to keep reminding myself not to um blend into stamp yeah i already noticed a difference when stamping it a huge difference so i'm gonna keep doing that <laughs> so i'm gonna go in on this eye and do the same exact thing i did over on this side just so i could show you guys i'm using the same brush and everything so i'm gonna tap off more excess okay so i can already notice it might just be my base, because I'm a fucking flop detaching to that, but that just might be me, because honestly on this side, it looks really nice. But um, let me finish putting it on. Okay, so what I'm noticing is this side is a lot, I don't know if you could tell on camera, but this side is a lot different than this color. Now, before everyone's like, oh my god, that fucking palette sucks! This is a colored concealer, so that might be doing something, and this is a white, like, a more tannish color, so that might be the thing, and also this is, it's gonna push out more pigment than the eyeshadow already, and I could tell that, and I'm actually, first I wasn't really liking this eye, but now that I built it up, and I started working and actually putting in effort instead of just throwing something on and complaining it's bad now that i'm actually doing something and i'm not when i say work i'm not even like going in a whole bunch like i'm literally just packing i don't even know how to explain it but i'm not doing that much work and i'm already liking this side a lot better the color payoff all right so the sides are a little bit different like shape wise because um hi i fell geometry that's why i'm not going to college so this side is a different color blue that might, that is, that most like, I don't know, I'm not a makeup artist. It's be because of the different base, but honestly, I'm not mad at either side. Like, the color is really nice. I'm pretty sure if I kept going back in with this on this side, it would give me the same color payoff as this one. And I know this one looks really sloppy. I don't know. I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> I'm not mad at either side. Honestly, I'm liking this side a little bit more because it's a lot cleaner. Let me try to add more color to it. Anyway, so now I'm going to go in with the darker blue. I'm going to go in with cola. I know that one for fat. You know. Okay. Oh, there we go. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Too much. <laughs> shade and this time I am going to change my brush since shinch orange is very different than blue
So my going was rusted. Try to deepen up. Again, starting off with the concealer side. Going in very lightly. I'm gonna try so good. Let's try so good on the inner corner. Oh, yeah, so good there. I didn't even wet this. I just realized I didn't even wet this and it's already kind of good, kind of fresh. And I should have, you dumb bitch. I should have just went in after I did my base. But that was both without any MAC Fix Plus. And here's some tea, ladies, bitch. I put water on this and it acts exactly the same as a regular MAC Fix Plus for me. I use it to melt my powders in. And, um, it works the same. Literally. I just added water, and whenever I run out, I add more water. So, bitch, I paid $30 for a bottle, and I'm not ashamed of it, about it. As I was, um, blending out my, uh, doing my, um, my base makeup, I did touch up the, um, the eye. And let me just tell you now, I'm gonna be completely honest. And now, again, this is the concealer side, so it's gonna come out differently not as expected this side did not blend as well as i hoped it would but again it was the concealer side and my eye shapes are different but this side this side came out really really nice i liked it i could do a little bit better blending right there um i'm gonna go in with face now this is supposed to be a highlight shade um i don't know if it's i'm not for sure if it's universal but we're gonna find out on my dark skin so we're gonna use this as a highlight I didn't add highlight for that reason okay you know what? I'm not I'm really not mad at that hold on let me spritz my face use it. I'm gonna use my Mac fix plus aka water what we're gonna wait for that to dry not dry but like you know soak into my skin probably gonna dirt going with this dirty beauty blender this one oh fuck 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 I put too much on Okay, yeah, I am mad at it, bitch. That's way too much highlight. I'm not I'm not really a highlight kind of girl. So we're gonna fix that if I can. If I can't, well <laughs> but that's some Jeffree Star type of highlight, and I'm not that kind of girl, honestly. I got more of a natural. And you can get that with this. Like on the side, I mean on the side. This is a really natural glow within. Sorry, I'm trying to tap it off as much as I can because it's really, really pigmented. But this is a really nice everyday highlight. Not on this side. This side is like, like you can build it up, I'm guessing. Which, obviously you can. Like on this side, this is really intense. If you like that, good for you. I don't. But um, if you go really subtle, this is the kind of highlight I like. And it's so hard to get. Ugh, fuck. Like, I want to add more, but I don't because it's going to be intense. Like, I really like the subtle highlight. Because I'm already oily and sweaty, so I have my own natural highlight. To use no beans as a contour shade because if i can use this whole entire palette for contour highlight eyes and my eyebrows because i like i like why well, I might not use that as a high um, for my brows because spooky looks really black and i don't want to have my old style okay honestly i don't know if there's since there's already product okay actually that's a perfect high um contour shade for me it's a little bit intense because i already have a high uh, uh, contour on but, um, yeah, that's gonna work. So, literally, you can use basically all my makeup from here. That's so amazing. I don't need a contour. I don't need my brow. I could try it. I will try my brows. That could get very sketchy really quick. Really, really, really quick. So, um, I'm gonna try that. I'll update you guys on my Instagram or my Snapchat, so you should follow me on both. Really, really enjoyed playing with this palette. It's really nice. It literally has everything I need. Like, I can use this size for my contour. I'm not for sure about darker shades. I mean, lighter shades than me. Or darker shades, too. But for me, personally, I can use this for my highlight. I have my highlight in here. I have my contour. I have my eyes. I can use... I could try this for my brows. I might use... I had to use a for my brows. But I can try to use that for my brows. Because I like a more darker brow to match my hair. But, um... I don't know if you can see her... But that's really, really did enjoy this palette. 
Um, again, like James said, use the MAC paint pot or a primer to get the full potential of this um, eyeshadow palette. And honestly, I really like this side a lot better. It might just be my eye shape and the way I blended it out on here, but I really like this eye. This eye I still like. Could have came out a lot better, but um, I'm not mad at it. Like, if I, it might just be my blending issue here. Like me blend, I'm not flicking off. It might just be me blending right here. But um, pretty much the colors perform the same. It's just that little area right there and the shape of it. But honestly, I'm not mad at it at all. I love, what was this one called? I think it was called, um, so good. It's so good. It's so good. But I'm um, really enjoying my face right now, which is something that never really happens, bitch. I didn't even highlight my inner, my eyebrows. But anyway, I'm taking this off. Probably gonna take a picture in it. But, um, yeah, so I really enjoyed this palette. Um, everyone who gave this palette a negative review, what are you talking about? Um, I'm gonna play with this a lot more, um, and use the different colors, because I only use orange and orange. I only use these two and these two and this one and this one and this one. Um, and from my experience, everything is really nice. And I'm seeing me use this palette even more. <clears throat> Follow me on Instagram. I'll do a whole bunch of looks with this. I'm only going to use this palette for now on, probably for the rest of my life. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to really like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, share with the whole Brown Street. That's somehow what's the James X, I mean, Morphe X James palette. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe because I know I'm going to get a lot of followers with this. No. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, cool cat. Back to the